Are you trying to mine Zcash and don't know how to do it? Or don't know what miner to use and what speeds and what profits you will you get for, from uh, Zcash mining? If so, then stay tuned. Well, as you many as you know, um, Zcash mining is out there already for a month and it uh, had uh, shown some uh, good and bad signs, you know, for the currency value at the uh, start when it just came out on the markets. Uh, the price was uh, for one Zcash over uh, 3000 Bitcoin, which is, uh, I think is crazy and uh, it dropped down now here it's about hundred dollars at the moment as we speak and uh yeah i think th that might be a good price for it at the moment so um a lot of people ask me you know how do you mine zcash and if, if it, is it possible to mine uh with the same uh, mining rigs i built for ethereum and uh ethereum classic and uh, what speeds w w would I be getting? So yeah, I decided that to make a video a long time. I didn't make a video for over the months now. And uh, I wanted to show you which uh, is the easiest miner to use and which is the fastest. And uh, also we will be using a 6XFX uh, RX 470 uh, 4GB cards. And... Uh, yeah, it's a it's a normal setup as I uh, always do, and uh, we have the Crossair uh, uh, power supply, thousand watt, and we have the uh, new version of ASRock uh, Pro BTC uh, motherboard. I think I have a box somewhere. I'll, I'll take a look at. It. Yeah, that that's in there. Because uh, um, I think the first version is not manufactured anymore, so there's a new version of ASRock uh, Pro BTC uh, motherboard H81. Um, it's nearly the same motherboard, you know, just the power sockets, you know, for extra power for the uh, motherboard. It's uh, closer to the uh, uh, graphics card sockets here is one socket and here is another one where on the uh, other uh, motherboard there was one socket here and another one there so I think it's the uh, more support on the uh, graphics cards to take the pressure out of the motherboard so uh, yeah um, I will uh, now uh, record the screen and take you in the screen and uh, show you what I'm doing and uh, what's the uh, optimal settings to use for Zcash mining. Let's get into it. Okay, um, as I said before, we will be using 6XFX uh, RX 474 GB cards. And um, these cards are modified for Ethereum uh, faster mining and uh, they are modified with the timings uh, copied the 1500 trap into the lower ones so yeah and uh, as I figured out you know the best mining software as usually is uh, for Zcash is Claymore miner you know this top quality miner it's uh, very stable and uh, it's uh, getting a lot of speed of course it has some uh, dev fee two and a half percent i think but still you know uh, um, it's one of the fastest miners on the market and uh, most stable so we will be installing that today i have already uh, downloaded the miner but i will show you where to find it so you type in uh, google zcash Claymore Miner 
and it talks takes you to the Bitcoin talk so you just download the use the mega link because sometimes this link is uh, uh, for Google Drive it's used too much and you can't download so it's the last one on the bottom version 8 okay save open a folder I'm just gonna extract to uh, extract here yeah. so yeah on uh, uh, then you need to, need to create a bad file so there's a, like a start file so you need to edit it so I, will, I have already you know uh, one file running on this machine so I just need to copy that over right um, so that's basically the pool I'm here using and uh, I will show you better maybe this way to set it up they have here in the description as well if you want to set up for any pool you want so for example fly pool I, I will be mining on fly pool so just copy the address from here paste that um, then you need to edit the wallet file which is this is my wallet and my worker name and uh, as I figure it out because it's possible to set it up uh, as many instances running on the uh, a miner uh, as you want uh, up to six as I figure it out that the, the best speed I was getting uh, uh, to uh, run on the miner uh, intensity uh, number two so to set that up just you take dash I space two comma two comma two so like uh, for every card you need a set up dif differently if you want you can set up differently you know if you have like a, a different cards on the one rig so you can set it up because uh, on the some some of the graphics cards uh, uh, intensity 6 would get my higher speed than uh, intensity 2 on a default I think it's intensity 4 so just close that save it don't save right and uh, settings what you need to use is uh, um, uh, I use an MSI afterburner to uh, edit the clock speeds because uh, on uh, <clears throat> these cards um, oh sorry this algorithm uh, Equihash uh, it is uh, using a different card resources so for example on Ethereum it was uh, using a if you have faster uh, memory clock a higher and uh, on uh, Zcash the Ethash algorithm it is uh, uh, mining faster if you have your core clock uh, higher so um, the core clock is on the on this talk so it is uh, 1220 uh, uh, core and uh, I have lowered the weave with memory because you don't need really you know it saves, saves also a little bit power and runs uh, cooler the cards and I have reduced the power limit and core voltage to save some power and I like the cards that 
they uh, run uh, cooler so yeah this settings I'll be using and what you need to do then just uh, uh, start the file which you have edited I haven't edited that file right I'll just copy over the I did show you how to edit Right, so you're running the uh, Claymore version 8 uh, minor. Just double click on the file and it's good to go. I was, uh, this is intensity 2, yeah, that's correct. I was uh, testing this uh, uh, minor already and uh, it was uh, uh, going at a speed uh, uh, 1000 hashes so we just wait a few minutes and uh, see uh, the update how uh, fast it will go so you can see that uh, also uh, you don't need to wait you just can uh, hit the S button but you know they let the minor run for a few minutes because uh, at the start usually runs slower and after a few minutes it uh, runs with the uh, maximum speed right just leave, leave it for a while it's maybe it's running a slower bit because of the I'm recording the screen I will I don't know I will leave this for a while and we can check also the profitability you know how profitable is to uh, mine uh, uh, Zcash uh, compared to Ethereum so we're gonna um, don't need these algorithms we will take them out and compare Ethereum to Ethash uh, to Equihash uh, so on Ethereum, uh, this the same miner does about 170 mega hash, and it is running at 850 watts. And let's say, for example, 10 cents per kilowatt you get. And uh, on Equihash, it does thousand hashes and uh, does about 820 watts and the same uh, price of electricity so yeah let's see we can see that uh, zcash is the most profitable currency at the minute today uh, a day from this miner you would get a uh, if your electricity cost would be a nine uh, uh, ten cents you would get nine nine dollars uh, sixty three cents for a 24 hour mining and uh, ethereum is not that far off it's uh, uh, eight dollars and thirty nine cents for a day's profit and ethereum classic also the same so basically these three Currencies are top currencies to mine today and uh, yeah but there's not much difference between them so you could mine any of them so it's good there's uh, for us miners that there's more currencies that uh, is possible to mine with these graphics cards Right, and what's the speed we're getting here? It's kind of slow. It must be, must be because of the uh, uh, screen reader. Yeah, because one card is running really low. Really low. I might turn off the screen reader and uh, we will see uh, how much. Um, how much does it run?
Okay, so I have uh, turned off the screen reader and as you can see, uh, the miner goes at uh, 990 hashes. So we'll keep up and it will uh, get about 1000 hashes on the uh, one of these miners. So I think it's a decent speed and uh, it's a good decent daily profit, nearly uh, ten dollars on one miner so it's not too bad at all and uh, yeah that's basically it uh, you know for this video and also if you want some uh, like uh, you can't get the motherboards I know it's very hard you know we have them here in the shop also and uh, some of these miners if you can't build your own uh, miner and uh, yeah that's basically it for this video uh, read the description for links uh, subscribe the channel thumbs up if you like this video and uh, I see you on the next video and I uh, hope you will like it thanks for watching adios amigos